tonight, making his first attempt at a world title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome tonight's challenger and world rank contender, introducing Jason Banana Rosario. The newly crowned, reigning, and defending unified WBA and IBF super welterweight champion of the world, introducing Julian J. Rock Williams. All right. So he will throw hard. He tries to answer there with the right hand. Has to be careful because he, you know, it looks like he got a little nick over his left eye. Uh, opening up and you know down the line in this fight it could be a, it could be a, a, a effective a yeah wow you're right for Let, him Lennox and you're right there there's blood flowing that right now I didn't see was that from a punch did we see yeah it was it's from a, a punch okay. it was from a jab as in Rosario having a little more success here in this last oh, minute able to land a right hand it's big doesn't he yeah he does yeah oh. that's one thing I noticed when he first came in he looked really big, and I didn't think he was that bigger than J-Rock, but he definitely is in the ring. Oh. Good right hand by Williams. Good answer. Because he can't see. It's definitely affecting his, his vision. Right hand there by Williams. Final seconds here in round number three. Things getting very interesting for the championship of the world at 154. Oh, and here you see J-Rock. Both of them actually connecting. And Rosario coming back with the left hand after he connected which is very important. And here's the body punches, both in good uppercut by J-Rock. All right, here we go. Here's that right hand by J-Rock. That's the one that made, like I said, made him stall. Side to side, move, some side to side movement and get that jab working a little bit more. So right now I got the fight even after four rounds. Good hard hook there. Oh. Larry, thank you so much. Rosario, J-Rock right right is hurt. He's wobbled, he's trying to hold on. Hard right hand. You see Williams is badly staggered. He's Rosario out. with his chance to win the fight. world title. Jason Rosario so close to the championship of the world. The, the, Williams trying to hold on and down he goes, trying to clutch. Two minutes left in the round too, Brian. And now that's not a knockdown, but he's going to have to get back up. He yeah. just looks in bad, bad shape. Yeah, he's... Uh, He's wobbling. I don't know. If, I don't know if he's gonna make it. He, you know, oh. he's got his wits better get to him pretty oh. fast. Rosario because, moves in for the kill. Benji's so much time left. And That's handsome, and his eyes are wobbling. And Benji and Stavis, is he stopping it? He yep. stopped it. Jason Rosario is the super welterweight champion of the world. And here, and here you see Rosario catching him with a right hand, left hand, and right hand, staying on him, staying on him, realizing that he's staggering, and and trying to finish him right now. Throwing, just throwing punches. He's just going for the win. He knows he, he feels his championship in his grasp right now. And to your point, Benji Estevez gave him every opportunity to stand back up. Get him because that's yep. a slip. That's not a knockdown. Get back up, but eventually you need to re-engage. Yeah, but we've seen this in J-Rock before where he's been stunned by a, by a jab in his past fights. And it was difficult for him to, you know, get back in it. And you see there, Estevez getting closer and closer. And the referee oh. is closest to see a man's eyes. And that right hand, that did it. Well, that was a hell of a right uppercut left hook that he got here with. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 37 seconds in round number five. Our referee in charge, Benji Estevez, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is the new WBA and IBF super welterweight champion of the world, Jason Banana Rosario. Rosario near tears, if not fully weeping right now. He said, I've come here to fight the best, and he was superb tonight. Well, you know, again, I can't repeat it enough. He earned it because he went to camp looking at a poor guy. You know, he can't believe it. And well, Jason, I see the emotion on your face. I saw the tears flow when you were handed those belts. Describe to me what this moment is like for you right now. Vimos la emoción, vimos lo, eh, que estaba demasiado emocionante por ganarte estos tres títulos. Dile ahora mismo al público esta emoción que tú tienes en estos momentos. De verdad es algo que en sí, en sí ya yo sabía porque venía a hacerlo. Eh, yo, había, yo había hecho una promesa cuando perdí que no, que no tenía pensado volver a perder hasta que me hiciera campeón del mundo. Cuando me hiciera campeón del mundo iba a luchar más fuerte por los títulos. 
lo tengo. De verdad que me siento tan emocionado que, que mis lágrimas no pueden parar. Yeah, I got to keep crying because I'm so emotional in this moment right now. When I lost my last fight, I said I will never lose again until I become champion of the world, and that's what happened tonight. I came prepared, so I knew before the fight that I was going to win it. You did say that you were going to win it. You, in fact, called this your house. You went away for 16 weeks. You left your family. You did what you called training camp, kind of, for the first time. Do you wish you had done that sooner? Tú dijiste que esta era tu casa, Filadelfia, y que tenía 16 semanas que nunca había entrenado como entrenaste para ahora. Eh, ¿Qué le tiene que decir a la fanaticada después de eso? Eh, bueno, eh, creo que, que el trabajo se vio. Eh, Ahora vamos a entrenar más duro para, para aguantar esto para, para por mucho tiempo. Eh, realmente lo único que quiero es darle gracias a Julian Williams, a toda Filadelfia, porque si no hubiera sido, si no hubiera sido por, por, por ellos que me dan la oportunidad, no, no hubiera sido posible esto. Y ella también preguntó si es la primera vez, si hubiese adelantado eh, otra vez entrenar las 16 semanas mucho más antes después de recibir tantos elogios y, y hacer tanta práctica ahora. Eh, bueno, claro, claro que sí, claro que sí. Yeah, I would have definitely started training a little earlier if I knew these were going to be the results. He wants to thank Philadelphia. He also wants to thank J-Rock because without this opportunity, he would not be champion today. I know that uh, you were a big underdog. This is an incredible moment for you. Congratulations on a great win. I do want to get an opportunity to speak to J-Rock. Thank you. Thank you. I know a lot of great mutual respect. Thank you. J-Rock, I saw your face when they called this fight. I saw your lips say, wow. Were you surprised by the Jason Rosario that came in here tonight? I wasn't surprised. I took, kept telling everybody he was a real fighter. But you know, it's the cut of a law. You know, I got to accept it. That cut, how much was a fa that a factor for you? It blurred my vision a little bit, but that wasn't the reason why. He was just a better, a better fighter tonight. Is there anything you could have done differently in this fight? Well, I got to go over and watch the tape and, uh, and uh, review the tape. I'll be able to tell you better if I see it. Where do you go from here? What's next for J-Rock? Uh, we got a rematch clause, and uh, we'll, we'll see him again real soon. All right, excellent. What do you want to say to these Philly fans who came out to support you tonight? I appreciate the support. I'm sorry I couldn't get the win, but uh, I'll be back. Excellent. Thank you so much, J-Rock. For all the best boxing content, follow PBC on Fox on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.